good day everyone. So today I will be discussing about the philosophical foundation with special needs in inclusive education. So here is my outline of my discussion. First is objectives of special education. Next, categories of exceptionalities and last individual programs and plans or what we call is IEP. Special education, an educational program or service designed to meet the needs of children with special needs who cannot profit from general or regular education because of disabilities or exceptional abilities. The Individuals with Disabilities Education Act or IDEA is the federal law that supports special education and related service programming for children and youth with disabilities and ensures that all children with an identified disability receive special education and related services to address their individual needs. Philosophical Foundation All the efforts to uphold the rights and dignity of children with disabilities primarily root from the philosophical understanding of man. The Special Education Division Philippines Memorandum That special education refers to the education of persons who are gifted or talented and those who have physical, mental, social, or sensory impairment and cultural differences so as to require modifications of the school curricula, programs, and special services and physical facilities to develop them to their maximum capacity. These persons may be gifted or talented, fast learner, mentally retarded, visually impaired, hearing impaired, with behavior problems, orthopedically handicapped, with special health problems, learning disabled, speech impaired, or multiply handicap. Philosophical Foundation Children with disabilities should have the rights as normal children do. Children with disabilities must not be isolated nor be look down. Children with disabilities must be treated as persons of dignity. Persons with disabilities need should be provided. The basic philosophy of special education that every children with special needs has a right to an educational program that is suitable to his needs. And special education shares with regularly education basic responsibilities of the educational system to fulfill the right of the child to develop to his full potential. The objective of a special education is to develop the maximum potential of the child with special needs to enable him to become self-reliant and shall be geared towards providing him with the opportunities for a full and happy life. The specific objective of special education is the development and maximization of learning competencies as well as the inculcation of values to make the learners with special needs as useful and effective members of the society. And we have ultimate goal of special education. The integration or mainstreaming of learners with special needs into the regular school system and eventually into the community. An individual or a child who has an exceptionality has some area of functioning in which he or she is significantly different from an established norm. This definition includes both students with disabilities and those with special gifts or talents, learning disabilities, developmental delays, 
emotional and behavioral disorders, communication disorders, hearing disabilities, visual impairments, and physical disabilities. There are 13 legal categories for exceptionalities. First is autism. Two is deaf blindness, deafness, emotional disturbance, intellectual disability, hearing impairment, multiple disabilities, orthopedic impairment, other health impairment, a specific learning disability, speech or language impairment, traumatic brain injury, and last is visual impairment. Number one is autism. A developmental disability significantly affecting verbal and nonverbal communication and social interaction. There are three primary features. Restricted range of social interaction impaired communication skills, and last is persistent pattern of stereotypical behaviors, interests, and activities. Next is deaf blindness. A concomitant hearing and visual impairments, the combination of which causes such as severe communication and other developmental and educational needs that they cannot be accommodated in special education programs solely for children with deafness or children with blindness. Deafness, a hearing impairment that is so severe that the child is impaired in processing linguistic information through hearing with or without amplification that adversely affects a child's educational performance. Emotional events, a condition exhibiting one or more of the following characteristics over a long period of time and to a marked degree that adversely affects a child's educational performance. It's inability to learn that cannot be explained. Inability to build or maintain satisfactory interpersonal relationships with peers. Inappropriate types of behaviors. A general pervasive mood of unhappiness. A tendency to develop physical symptoms or fears with personal or school problems or what we call schizophrenia. Hearing impairment. An impairment in hearing whether permanent or fluctuating, that adversely affects a child's educational performance, but that is not included under the definition of deafness. Intellectual disability, a significantly sub-average general intellectual functioning existing concurrently with deficits in adaptive behavior and manifested during the developmental period that adversely affects a child's educational performance. Multiple disabilities, a concomitant impairment, the combination of which causes such as severe educational needs that they cannot be accommodated in special education solely for one of the impairments. Orthopedic impairments, a severe orthopedic impairment that adversely affects a child's educational performance includes congenital anomalies, example, club foot, caused by disease, example, poliomyelitis, other causes, example, cerebral palsy. Other health impairments, having limited strength, vitality, or alertness including a heightened alertness to environmental stimuli that results in limited alertness with respect to the educational environment due to chronic or acute asthma, ADD, ADHD, diabetes, epilepsy, a heart condition, hemopalia, lead poisoning, leukemia, nephritis, rheumatic fever, and sickle cell anemia adversely affects a child's educational performance. As a specific learning disability, a disorder in one or more of the basic psychological processes involved in understanding or in using language, 
spoken or written that may manifest itself in an imperfect ability to listen, think, speak, read, write, spell, or to do mathematical discussions. Speech or language impairment A communication disorder such as stuttering, impaired articulation, language impairment, or a voice impairment that adversely affect a child's educational performance. Traumatic brain injury An acquired injury to the brain caused by an external force resulting in total or, or partial functional disability or psychosocial impairment or vote that adversely affects a child's educational performance. Visual impairment An impairment in vision that even with correction, adversely affects a child's educational performance. The term includes both partial sight and blindness. Let's go now for individual programs and plans. Individualized Educational Program The IEP is a document developed by a team of persons from the child's attending school system who have had a direct relationship to the helping the student with the special needs to be able to reach his full potential. IEP AMERA 2004 or IDEA must include information about a student's functional ability to perform at academic levels and must include measurable yearly goals that are academic and functional and parents to be provided progress reports. Members of the Individual Educational Program team, a local representative from the school agency, the child's teacher, one or both of the child's parents or responsible party, the child's were appropriate, other individuals at the discretion of the parents or agency. Types of related services First, tra transportation speech language pathology, audiology services, interpreting services, psychological services, physical therapy, occupational therapy, recreation including therapeutic recreation, social work services, school nurse services, counseling services including rehabilitation counseling. Considerations in developing the individual educational program Assessment or assessing of students' needs or identify strengths and weaknesses Details of disability that are being addressed Individualization of educa individual educational program The classification, parental involvement, teacher involvement, collaboration of what best suits students' needs individual educational program in the classroom to include accommodations to include modifications on classwork to use a different assessment tool if needed to measure child's academic abilities teachers shall be an active part of the child's planning and must use modifications placement decisions Parents are to be included as a member of edu individual educational program. Placement decisions cannot be reached without IEP team agreement. Parent and team consensus about aspects related to child's needs and placement. Reviewing and revising IEP. Reviewing yearly. Reassess annual goals and we must revise the IEP to address any lack of expected progress, results of any re-evaluation, and info, info provided by the parents and anticipated needs.